Welcome back to Blake's Takes, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another episode. As always, with me, my co-host, Garrett. Thank you. However, let's get to the guest of honor. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have a very, very special episode today. You might know her as Chaka from Kronk's New Groove. Maybe. Emperor's New School. Maybe. Uh, Young Nita and Brother Bear 2. Maybe. So that's Ooh. a bit more of a stretch of a maybe. You know <laughs> that one. <laughs> hey, Brother Bear is underrated. It, it is underrated. Good. It is underrated. It's good. Uh, Found us out recently too. One of the baby turtles in Finding Nemo. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, it's my, my favorite, favorite role. My favorite Pixar movie. <laughs> uh, but you may know her as Toph Beifong in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Most famously, probably, probably, we probably have that one. Michaela Jill Murphy. That's me. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to act like I'm fangirling, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's real. He's, he's doing a lot to hide it. Yeah, I know I really he is. Am. Well, you're doing a great job. I can't, I can't see uh, that you're fangirling. That was a terrible no, blind joke was, to kick yeah, us off. No, so see, perfect. I that, started with a bad joke and now we're good. We're ready. You know what? We're right on par because he makes fun of me my, of my bad jokes all the time. So. Oh, they're terrible. He's got the dad jokes. I, I, yeah. That when every yeah. time I make like a terrible joke, I'm like, oh, guess I'm ready to be a parent. Like mm-hmm. I just. It's all right. Their, their jokes are already I'm so bad. I'm laughing at myself. I'm having a good time. If people want to get mad, that's their fault. <laughs> yeah. But you also went under the name Jesse Flower, correct? Yep. That's me. What made you change the. Uh, was that like just a stage name when you were young? <laughs> so, yes, it was just a stage name. But it, it also was something that I like very much identified as before it was on like right. my headshots and in audition rooms. I just did not like my name. Mm-hmm. I think at the time, Michaela wasn't a very popular name. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so in the spelling of mine, either it's Michael with an A on the end. And so I got a lot of Michaelas, a lot of mm-hmm. Michela, a lot of just mm-hmm. weird pronunciations. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to change my name. I, You know what the coolest name in the world is? Jessica. But then I was like, ooh, let's make it. Short and sassy, just <laughs> Jesse. And then the flower, I don't know. My mom was like, you need a last name. And I was like, okay, well, Jesse Murphy, uh, no. And so I came up with flower. I don't know. It was like I went to the backyard for a few hours and came back. I was mm. like, flower. Mm-hmm. She's like, Jesse Flower. I was like, yes. She's like, this is going to be in credits, mm-hmm. on on paperwork. And I'm like, yes. Hey, it flows And good. she's like, okay, six-year-old, <laughs> we'll let you take the reins. So, so she did. God, honestly, it made it- that story makes me like really question people's English ability. You can't. I I, I didn't read think your name. I clearly see Michaela. Well, like, thank you. Right, come right. on, come yeah, on. I don't know. I don't know. It Pe- just it was it was a moment in time. But see, without that, I wouldn't have had a decade of Jesse Flower. And now I still True. sign as Jesse on all my Avatar stuff because that's Aww. what's in the credits. So right. I feel like you know I should match yeah. who I was. Yeah. Am yeah. whatever. Pay tribute. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So anything where I'm Jesse in the credits, I sign as Jesse, and anything that mm. I have Michaela in the credits, it's Michaela. Nice. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What would your stage name Gar- be, Gary? Yeah. Yeah. What are your stage names? Anything you want. Don't be limited by normal well, things. Like oh my, gosh. my middle name. Oh, and I'm giving a lot of information out. Mm, middle name <laughs> is William. That's a great name, though. It, right. Oh, like I, William is a wonderful name. So, I'm so like, jealous about of his middle Blake name. William. Is that catchy? Would I change it to William Blake? That's a poet. Ooh, Blake ooh, Bill. ooh. <laughs> I don't want Bill. I'm not Bill. That's that's like 1950s no, shit. No, and I feel like William has more of a like a, a grandeur elegant. to it than just Will. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. What's your last name? Where are you from? What's your... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> from Orlando, Florida. Um, last name. I wonder if you'll find this one interesting. Duckworth. Whoa! Yeah. But see, you already have a stage name. That's see, fun. You like that one? I, I had to come up with the flower thing right. and like draw a little flower mm-hmm. over my name. Like, we, see, that's no, fun. We weren't the biggest fans of our last name when we were kids. But no, growing no, no, up, no, no. we yeah. were like, you know what? That's a unique ass name. It is. It is. And no, I don't I didn't hate my last name. Honestly, like every nickname I've ever gotten from it is right. Duck, Duck. Ducky. Ducky. Like football, they that's always re- football yes. we always got referred to as our last name anyway. Yeah. So Duckworth Ducky, like that was just it. You, you were guys just already duck. have a good stage yeah. name. Exactly. You and lucky ducks. <laughs> I would just need to go. It's bad. It's bad. I'm going to leave. I would probably just not include my middle name. <laughs> What's your middle name? <laughs> this is the this is the content you you're here to see, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my middle name is Parent. Oof. It is my mom's maiden name. Okay. And that technically makes it is supposed to be pronounced Parent. French but Canadian. Ooh, literally say, nobody French, in my Francois. family even continues to pronounce it that way. Yeah. Like I well, feel like you there, should just start. I think so. Like I feel like there just needs to be an accent yeah. somewhere over the E yeah, in no parent. Accent. There's no accent. So it's like, how do you know to say it differently? You know? Like So what would but, your stage name be? Are you like, keeping any of your real names or are you changing Garrett? it? Garrett? Yeah, what's wrong with Garrett? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You don't see too I, many I would Garrett's keep, out I would there. keep Duckworth. Gare Perron. <laughs> <Does> it- <laughs> I would just go full French. Gare <laughs> Perron. There you go. 
There you go. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> Full French and, and Blake William Williams or William? One William. Or two? Just singular. Yeah, okay. singular. Okay, interesting. Well, now yeah. that we've got that settled, yeah. it's yeah. very important. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, that was important conversation. Needed to be had. True. I've never thought about that, actually. <laughs> no. So, all right. So we have some icebreaker questions we're going to ask. Hit me. Just some fun little things. Mm. Audience gets to know you better. They get mm. to know us better, too. I don't I know yeah. some questions I don't think the audience knows. Garrett's kind of a mystery, I feel like, when it comes to the podcast. A mystery. A little bit. Yeah. I just come in and say what I want. Yeah. First question. What's your favorite hobby? Okay, you didn't tell me these were going to be hard icebreakers. Hard. Okay, yeah. a favorite? I have to pick one? Okay. Or you can just list What do you do the most? What do you do the most? <laughs> Hyper clean to calm my anxiety. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, hey, okay. So we love cleaning. Anytime no. I'm like in my bath, like it's clean, mm-hmm, but I'm like, yeah. you know what? Let's reorganize it. Like, okay. let's, just, <laughs> let's just wipe down every single thing and reorganize the whole cabinet. Um, if it's not that, and if it's like a normal activity, yeah. I, I do love flying trapeze and horseback riding. Okay. Um, All right. So if I'm doing an activity, I do like those two things. Um, I read occasionally, I like driving. Driving? Really? Yeah. You I just really go, like, like late drives. Night drives? Any, late night or any, daytime? Any time of day is is a good vibe for a drive. If okay. you like especially know the good soundtrack to, to put on at the time. Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. right now, it's a little bit sunsetty, like about to be. It's like the cusp of sunset. Like yeah. great yeah. vibes for a drive. Anytime. What's the go to soundtrack? Ooh. Um airplanes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we are outside. I, we are. We are. We are with hey, Earth. Yeah. Yes. We're with we the are Earth. in my element. Um, I. Nim, 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 nim. It's really tough. I love the artist Caroline Polachek, which, if you follow me online, you know this. Uh, but I love her. She's very kooky. She's like ethereal pop princess kind of mm-hmm. deal. And um, she has a newer song called Spring is Coming with a Strawberry in the Mouth. It's a very long title. Okay. But I love that song. I do love Ari's new song. I do like a couple of Dua Lipa's new songs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll occasionally throw on like, oh, Madison Beer just released one. Okay. That's, uh, well, I, forget what, I forget what it's called, but it's very much giving refined, like polished 2010 EDM mm-hmm. kind of synthy vibes, which I'm a big fan. You know, um, that just brought up a follow-up question for me. Is there a movie soundtrack that you like to go back and listen to a lot? Ooh, I mean, La La Land is great. Wow. We're going to have fun. Yeah. Oh, he, he loves you for that. You're welcome again. Ooh, I yeah. keep doing this. Yeah. I keep killing it. We're going to have a great time. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> my La La Land is great. Mm-hmm. Um, I do love, I love musicals as well. So like, you know, Greatest Showman is like fun to listen mm-hmm. to. I mean, don't, don't come for me. High School Musical is fun okay. to listen to, the original. And I'm trying to think of other things that I listen to that are soundtrack. I um, just put on a depressing movie score and I'll be good. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Up or like Ratatouille okay. yeah. or Tangled. These are all, yeah. Michael G. Chino. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett, we got to answer too so she gets to know us as well. Oh, oh yeah. that's no, okay. Right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Normally I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. used to. Answering. I want to know some of his answers too, to be honest. Okay. What, like, what's my favorite hobby? What is your favorite hobby, Garrett? Yeah, what's your favorite hobby? I mean, like, I really don't do you know. Garrett Parent? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> God, you sound like my mother. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Apparently, um, that's a trend in my life. I need it. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> She's got the dad jokes and the motherness. <laughs> Um, favorite hobby, honestly, God, with school and everything that I'm doing right now, I don't even know if I got time for hobbies, but that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, so uh, I just stress clean. I think, uh, <laughs> I think one of mine is just gotta be like video games. There'll be like a spree where I'll just go on a tangent Classic. and play video games for like what a do you month play? straight. What's your favorite? Um, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, I think is Classic. like one of the best games ever made. Yes. Great. Um, I used to be a huge Apex Legends guy, okay. um, but more recently it's like got like story games: God of War, God of War Ragnarok, Spider Man, Spider Man Two, um, okay. Jedi Survivor, and Fallen Order. Like honestly, it's mainly been those like kind of story games. Got you. Okay. I'll keep it simple. Uh, my favorite hobby is working out. I mean, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Listen, no, 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 no. I don't want to say like literally. <laughs> It is literally like, I know this for him. It's a big stress reliever. No, no, it is. It's really helpful. I have been, it's been, oh, it's been a couple days now that I'm realizing. Once a couple days go by, no, no, it's bad. It's bad. Um, yeah. Oh gosh. I just now realized that yesterday I woke up on like wrong side of the bed, but I was Uh just packed. Like I just Mm -hmm. did not have time. I woke up and had things scheduled the whole day, but I woke up just off. And if I would have been able to get to the gym before I could have started my day, Mm -hmm. Uh, Makes you feel good. That would have helped. It does. It does. That would have helped. I, I've been doing it since because we played sports our whole lives. So yeah, 
You know, that was just something I've been doing since like 14. So it's like, it's just a habit now. Do you like, you know, weight training or do you like playing basketball or do you like, like, what's your, what's I your thing? I like playing, I, I love playing sports, but it is mainly uh, weightlifting just because like, Either A, I don't have time or enough yeah, friends no, no, to no. play basketball. Yeah, it's, no, it's hard to rely you know. on like those group activities. Yeah. Here even, you do. Even though they are fun. You yeah, get to be part of the frat for yeah. you uh-huh. know, a week. Yeah, it's great. Because <laughs> uh, my time is just either that or editing all the time. Yeah. So I'm always editing. I'm the okay. editor of the podcast. All right. The next written question we got. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite movie? Um, it In order, it goes Crazy Stupid Love, Tangled. Inception. <laughs> oh, all right. I like that list, actually. It's a nice and varied. Um, and then and then underneath, it's like cyclical of just good movies. La La Land is included yeah. in there. Um, I I mean, I recently, I, I actually really liked Oppenheimer, so it might have nudged its way in. Once okay. Upon a Time in Hollywood is fun. Um, oh, I love that answer. I mean, the Harry Potter films, I know that that's a little bit up in the air, but I think that they're really well done movies, uh-huh. except for the last one. That was a whole, that was a whole moment that <laughs> we had. I saw that, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Again, that I brought up mm-hmm. un- I was on Andrew's yeah. side for that one, and he was really, he got pumped. <laughs> yeah. He got pumped. He was very excited mm-hmm. during that episode. <laughs> did you see Dune 2? I did. What do you think of it? Uh, it was long. Okay. <laughs> it was pretty. The soundtrack is nice. I, I, I said this, I had a hard time like really caring about like the worlds that okay. they were really trying yeah. to sell me on right. to care about. And I was like, I get it. It's intense. It's yeah, very yeah. intense. What? That's been. A, I'm a little. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people that have like mixed reviews on it would probably say because of the world building. Um, there was just a lot given I in Dune just, One. I was yeah, like, they just I was threw a, a sucker lot. for it. I think it's I. Pretty, I I'm kind of like read with to you. Read the books. So I'm. I wanted to wait till after till I saw the movies because sometimes I like seeing the movie first and it's then an reading it, take. so I don't have a sense of judgment going into the movie. You know? But isn't that? No, because I, they made the movie after the book, so shouldn't yeah. shouldn't you have a sense so. of judgment before going in? I don't think, I don't so. think so. Because I don't think so. people I don't get, think so. I feel like people can <laughs> get sound so like Elastigirl girl over here. Sorry, <laughs> people can get so nitpicky. I feel like you know, you go right. into the movie just expecting to be disappointed by certain things. Be like, oh, that was different. That was different. That was instead I don't of just go enjoying in with the judgment what you're of being disappointed though. But like when I went True. to watch the Harry Potters, I read all those books front to back yeah. like a bajillion times. But then I was like, oh, that's their Hermione. Like it was yeah. kind yeah. of like. The, I wasn't yeah. mad at it because it was good. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Am I up next for favorite movie? No, no. What are you talking about? We just did that. Ah, uh, we oh, have an oh, answer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this kid. Sorry. Um, what are your favorite yeah, movies? Go. Favorite movie of all time. What do you think it is? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't know. I feel like people take a look at me and it's not what I say. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh. <laughs> well, she's just taking. Hey, we just met, man. She's taking uh, shots sure, in yeah. the dark here. What are you expecting? Right. <laughs> favorite movie of all time is. Star La La Land. <gasps> okay, it is. It it is. is. I, wow, of yeah, he all, just, time, of he all just, time, that's a bold, yes. interesting mm-hmm. choice that I obviously disagree with, but like, why? It, it. well, I mean, Crazy Stupid Love, Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, come on. Listen, the, yeah. the duo is pretty unparalleled. The chemistry is in great. this city. I so. lo- yeah, I love, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm not a big musical guy, I'm really not, but. Wow. The it's musical, absolutely beautiful in it. The the uh, wardrobe, you know, the acting's phenomenal. The story's phenomenal. What I love about it too is it's a very like I think Mia and Sebastian are very real characters, and yep, a lot of people can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, the realness right. I feel you on. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. Like, oh, but also, okay. I feel like it can be real too for people that do dream, like like do dream of making it big at anything or the entertainment industry, like even if you know you're not going to, some people could live vicariously through these characters and like, yeah. you know, what's that sacrifice you're going to make to make it big? Yeah. That even not in just this industry, but like yeah. with anything Any. in life. And I think one of the, I mean, obviously the last like, you know, 10 minutes, seven minutes, whatever yeah. the sequence is, it's just insane. Yeah, the log, yeah. Oh gosh. Anyway. Um, I love it. <laughs> absolutely wild. But I think there's this misconception that if, if you find somebody who mm-hmm. like, believes in you or who is also chasing a dream Mm -hmm. it'll work Mm -hmm. and like actually the majority of the time that's not the case in fact it won't because like you almost can't bring someone with you right yeah where you're going yeah and it's very lonely yeah anyway so what's your favorite movie Uh, (laughs) god y'all getting all depressed (laughs) mine has a good ending i love my ending um i've I've said this since 2012 my favorite movie is django unchained Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah. love interesting. It. We are big Quentin Tarantino Good one, people. Though. Yeah, yeah. I love, I, okay. How are you on like blood and gore it's in great, movies? If it's if it's purposeful, yes. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like it, it. Not that it made sense. There's some things in that movie that don't oh, yeah. make no, sense. No, like it, you get it. It's like a shotgun place, blast. It's like there was a place for it, and yeah. I was like, this is so absurd. But like, of course. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's Quentin Tarantino. It's, it's a great. Yes. It's gonna movie. be just like Kill Bill. Way overdone. Oh, I kind of want to watch it again now. I love it so much. What what order should if oh. we were to have Crazy yeah. Stupid Love, La La Land, and then Django Unchained, what order are we supposed to watch those in in one day? I say start with Crazy Stupid Love. Really? You know, yes. Yeah. Start off with some fun and some so craziness. So we're not going to end with fun? <laughs> no, okay. no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's, okay. It's, okay. We're right. starting light. All right. Starting, and then li- what? starting light. Then we get into the sadness, bring us down, and then we end with like, Django ugh. with a triumphant finish. Revenge. Okay. That's... that's my take on that. Interesting. Okay, interesting. And on a nice, you know good, what? serious note. Interesting. I'm the odd one. I'm going to end on La La Land. <laughs> he just wants you, to stay depressed. You want to go to bed sobbing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. So no. I think I would start with <laughs> Crazy Stupid Love, then Django, then La La Land. Oh, boy. How would you put I it? I think I'd start light. <laughs> I think I'd start crazy. St- I think, I think. You think I had it right? Yeah, because start. Mm, no. I think I'd do La La Land first, and then I might go right into I might go right into Django. This is weird. La La Land, Django, Crazy Stupid Love. Yeah, because like there's a lot of feeling, and I'll just turn it into anger. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) And revenge, and and it's got a love story in there too. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. absolutely. All three of them do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is an argument to be said that the only things that we can talk about are love and death. Oh. Getting real deep out here. So. That's what I like. Let's go. All right. Anyway, next question. <laughs> All right. I think this was my turn. All right. Um, who was your childhood celebrity crush? Ooh. Ooh. Um, Britney Spears was okay. number one. And I didn't even like realize really what that meant at the time, but it was absolutely Britney Spears. She's <laughs> she's she's why I got my belly button pierced. Um then I think it was a brief moment of of Jesse McCartney. Okay. TBT. Yes, I'm old. Okay. Uh, and then. <laughs> You're not old. That's, yeah, he says nicely. Um, probably. And then, a, and then a brief stint of Justin Bieber. But that's only because I dubbed all. I did his Never Say Never movie. And I dubbed mm. in all the concert singing. Oh, and really? so I was just in a studio for like eight hours chanting his lyrics. No and then way. I was obsessed with him for a few weeks. So oh I feel God. like that's a little bit like I was like hazed into loving him. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if I count that one as real or not. But it that's was cool. there. It was there. And, and I still. Even though the hairstyle has been long mm-hmm. out of style, very long, unfortunately, it still gets me. So. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's coming back. To be honest, uh, no. The long, the, the, are you talking about the longer one? Just, yeah, just the bowl swoop thing. I don't yeah. think that's ever been right now, man. This ain't no swoop. No, I, no, no, no. I that's style not it in a swoop. Yeah, that's not. That's no, not. Hey, no. this is slick back. No. This is pushed back. Sorry. Yeah, pushed back is different. Yeah, he no, he's he's quoting uh the Netflix show I think you should leave Every with Tim episode, Robinson. Every episode we try to sneak in a reference. He's oh. he's obsessed. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, we all quote it, but it is yeah, really funny. I recommend it. Highly recommend. Celebrity Crush Garrett, who is it? Uh, first, you know, first Celebrity Crush. First. Not not the current. I think I'm going to just be ba- mine was basic, man. Scarlett Johansson. Really? Iron, Iron Can't Man go wrong. Iron Man 2. Oh, of yeah, course. Two. Iron Man 2 is what did me in. It's okay. understandable. That you? Under- yeah. uh, first celebrity crush for me uh, when I was a kid was um, Victoria Justice, actually. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I, I, yes. I thought, um, I thought Kira Knightley. Ooh. Well, that's a great one, but Kira I feel Knightley like, but like, one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I wasn't as obsessed with pirates yet at the time when uh-huh. I was, when I was young. Yeah. But. Very you know, first. Yeah. Zoe 101, uh, mm-hmm. Victoria Justice. I mean, you know, that's all I was watching. So yeah, it was Victoria Justice. Yeah. Even Makes Miranda sense. Cosgrove for a little bit. So Ooh. I know. I didn't, ha- I didn't have that one. Right. No, so, you know, it makes sense. Well, yeah, you went Scarlett right. Johansson. That's a very different vibe yeah. Right? Yeah. for your yeah. early years. Very mature for yeah. a young kid. <laughs> hey, man. Dude, she did that hair flip. I was done. <laughs> hair flips. Apparently, the power they hold, I've learned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you had to choose one kind of food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pasta. Do have, pasta. Okay. <laughs> do I have a what? Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you have a favorite specific food? But I guess it's pasta. Just generally, any any sort of noodle, I feel like would work. Um, one dish though. Ooh, that's tough. Um, I know that I would get. So it probably like a nice bolognese, like okay. 
tagliatelle kind of situation if with like fresh right, yes. buffalo mozzarella and parmesan. Okay. I think I'd be okay. And then we got the carbs, we got some dairy, we got some protein. Okay. All right. You know, I'm, good, I'm staying alive. Good meatballs is, from scratch. Is there like a region that you go towards more? Like, is there like, like, Italian? is it more like Asian, Italian? Italian. 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 Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Italian or okay. Spanish, some, something over there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Spain's got such a good Maybe oh with an God. over easy egg on top. Yes. Interesting. If I had to pick one dish, I'm weird. I love eggs there. on stuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Over I got a burger. Eggs. Solid. Mm-hmm. I got a, yeah. Pizza. P- people hate on that. Pizza? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've Sunny never side had up egg on a pizza. pizza. Welcome to LA. <laughs> wow. No, I've never had I've that. N- I've never had that. It's quite good. My favorite food? Well, a specific food in general, like, I love a good burger. Mm-hmm. So I'd say one food would be a burger. Classic. But, like, if I were to go, like, uh, region, I'd probably say, honestly, Thai food. Oh. I don't know. May, also, okay. maybe too, because it doesn't upset my stomach really ever. Yeah. Gee. It, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just, it's a good way to play it safe. Um, <laughs> um, IBS, lactose intolerant, you name it, whatever. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> Me, yeah. I would probably go like Tex Mex. I, I don't know. I feel okay. like I go, yeah, his Hispanic food in general, just mm-hmm. love it. I love I all three of us are very different. Yeah. Um, yeah. Different. I don't know if I could narrow it down to a single food, though. I don't. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't think I could. Um, Pizza? No. 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 <laughs> Oddly enough, like, no. <laughs> like one of the one of the like most specific things is, and it's like this specific recipe that our mom makes: corned beef. Like corn this, corn, beef. she has this corned beef recipe, <laughs> and it is so good. And there you go. Corned beef. I, hash. I don't know. See, corn I'm very beef. torn yeah. between like becoming the mom who like makes good because I because I have it in me. I've yeah. got like great grandparent like recipes yeah. and my grandma's yeah. recipes like I have the power to become that. Yeah. But then the other part of me is like just getting a chef. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't know who uh, I am yet. You know yeah, like I'll see in five show. years because yeah. I just it takes so much time but yes. it's so much fun yes. but then it's like that's like such a character choice that I haven't made yet. I think you it's know? like I think it's good. Like, do the do the chef if you want, but have the capability on those oh, special always. occasions. Oh, to, I, yeah. have, I make a banger homemade apple pie. I will say it's Ooh. very very good homemade dough. Hand slice the apples. Yeah, all, the whole thing. Yeah. See, I'm not good at cooking, so I just leave it to everyone else. <laughs> I can't do it, but also it does. It takes up so much time. It's, it's a, lot. a lot of prep, and, it's a lot. and then you eat it, it's gone. I yeah. know it's just like so that. Fast. So much work for <laughs> yeah. And what did it get? Thirty me? minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we good on time or do we need to go faster? Are we going way no, too no, slow? No. Okay. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're time, no, like, I know we're taking our, our, As long as time's yeah. not an issue for you, time's not an yeah. issue for us. No, we're fine. Good. I, I can see how- It's a three yeah. hour long episode. Literally, we're just like That's out fine. here <laughs> talking. That is fine with me. Okay, um, yes, keep going. Sorry. What city or country would you like to visit the most that you haven't been to before? Mm, I'm very torn between- Greece, Australia, and New Zealand right now. Those are like the the next ups for I haven't okay. seen been. I guess Spain in there a little, but I've been to Italy, so I feel like Ooh, yeah. I'm I'm familiar with Europe enough okay. to you know what I mean. But Greece feels like a whole different beast. I feel like Greece is a popular um, one. I think I'm thinking. I feel like Australia is really at the top. Really? Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah I think that's kind of why I like it. Yeah. Like I like snakes. <laughs> I and like I kind of yeah, I want to go snakes. see all I the like terrifying snakes. ones, which I, is probably wrong of me. Can't do snakes. My girlfriend's <laughs> roommate has a snake. I pick him up all the time. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, awesome. mm-hmm. most of them are act. They just want to be warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, hang out on your arm. Yeah, I'm not gonna get one that's like the size of my body, but I definitely want one that's like the size of my arm. Yeah. you know what I mean. Can't they think it. you're a tree. They like climb yeah, all just over hang you. Out. It's fun. Why can't you do it? Why can't you do it, Blake William? I don't know. So scared of snakes. I think if he got like desensitized and like met like a pet snake, I don't know. I think. Well, hey, it is. It is Indiana Jones. You know, yeah. If Achilles Indiana heel, Jones so. can be afraid of snakes, I can be yeah. afraid of snakes. <laughs> sure, that's a good point. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> Spain is amazing though. I actually went to Europe for the first time last year. First we went, time. First time. Wow. We went to uh, Spain and Portugal. Okay. Um, food in both places were amazing. The, the food is yeah killer, especially the chorizo in Spain. So good, and the octopus in Portugal is really good. Hmm. We're not so picky. Specific. Yeah, we're not picky with food at all. So we'll uh-huh. eat anything. I am. You are <laughs> absolutely. Uh, what will you absolutely not eat? Um, I mean, I'll always. I usually try everything once, okay, but yeah. I just am picky in general. Uh, I I love like fresher juice. I love France. <laughs> I love Europe in general, but like a freshly made croissant or like mm-hmm. pastry, mm-hmm. fresh juice, fresh melon, like fresh fruit, just yeah. like fresh from, from a garden, yeah. you know, that morning or yesterday morning is really my. We tried a uh, escargot when we were like 10 years old. Yeah. A lot of people were shocked. I was like yeah. seven. You, I yeah, didn't, you it took me a long time. I, t- I, I had to, when was the first time I tried it? 
I don't. Mm, it might have been like five years ago. It was recent. It took me a while. Really? It took me a while. Where would I visit? I would go to Italy's up there. Mm-hmm. Italy's up there for sure. I'm like forgetting countries now. <laughs> I think Italy and Greece would be up the there. top. Yeah, the top ones. I um. Or, ooh, Japan. Japan. I haven't been, yeah. Yes, yeah, Japan. Yeah. Okay. Way to steal mine. Thanks. That's your, uh, yeah. You can uh, for, also answer that. For, for country, I would go Japan. Um, but honestly, like our next family trip that we're trying to plan mm-hmm. um, would be Hawaii. Hawaii's uh, been yeah. Hawaii's been a in the thing. books for a long time. Our parents used okay. to live there mm-hmm. for three years while That's my dad cool. was in the military. Um, so okay. family trip to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah be so great. Trying to get us out there. All right. Next question. All right. Um, what is the best advice you have ever received? Ooh. Well, this kind of ties hand in hand. I don't know if this is necessarily the the best, but it's definitely been the most consistent slash right. stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Um, figure out where you're going first, then who you're taking with you, which is okay. tied to La La Land. And yeah. and anytime I, I, you know, don't necessarily follow that, it ends up just kind of mm-hmm. woo, blowing up my face. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think there's something to that for sure. So that's been the most consistent. I mean, and also, of course, the stereotypical, like, do your own thing, you know, don't care about what other people say, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, that's a big one. But that's hard. <laughs> what about you, Garrett? Dude, I don't know. I don't. Have you ever give, been given advice? <laughs> <laughs> Never in know. his life. He just yeah. going he's just going for it. Like, he's yeah. just free balling. listening to you? I don't need to listen to you. It's always been, you're doing all right. You're doing all right, kid. <laughs> I don't you know. Got I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's like specific advice. Like one thing for me that's really important is like work ethic. Like if yeah. you're never do anything, you know, yeah. half-assed, always 110%. That's, so that's, yeah. I, I mean, would say that's about about it. <laughs> I could be better at that, honestly. I definitely do something 70%. Really? Yeah. Not on purpose, but like then I look back I'm like, "Oh. Right. I didn't." Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know one time my high school football coach some good advice he said, "Don't be a dickhead." <laughs> <laughs> good advice from our who, who was that? <laughs> coach Claw. I was coach Claw. I'm expecting that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> our, <Okay>. def- <laughs> our, our defensive coach, defensive coordinator. <laughs> Good advice, you know? I Well, yeah, you know? I think we should all listen to that. <laughs> yeah. But another one that has stuck with me longer over the years um, is everything you've ever wanted is right outside your comfort zone. And I think Jennifer <sighs> Aniston, so, I think and for randomly Jennifer. So tired Jennifer, of being uncomfortable, but I am doing right, it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm trying. But I think Jennifer Aniston said that one as random as it is. And, um, but my mom is like, I, I heard of it like from my mom. That's mm-hmm. where she told me that quote. And she knew that was something that has always been a pro- like you know hard thing for me it's like yep. just get outside your comfort zone get out there yeah, yeah. and every time i do it's a great feeling I know. And, you know and then it works and you're like oh yeah, yeah this was yeah. a good idea yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, and that was a big problem for you like for me, when, yeah. when, when, when i was young, when he yeah. was younger like yeah. you know he was just a lot of social anxiety <laughs> i didn't want to <laughs> maybe still to this day yeah, no, I definitely still has it. yeah <laughs> i'm shy uh but yeah she has it uh, she got that quote like made on a little wooden plaque too that I'll hang in the bathroom. Did, did she have that specifically made or she found it? No, she had a sp- I don't know. Maybe Either way. Either cute. way. It's a good quote. That's great. Yeah. It's a, it's a she good, got it it's for a good me. Advice. It's up in my bathroom yeah. so I see it every day. Get Thanks, out of your comfort Mom. zone, baby. <laughs> Next question. Oh, that's kind of tricky. Oh, dear. Preparing <laughs> myself. <laughs> What's your secret talent? Oh, um, I can lick one elbow, not both. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, so apparently my neck or how my body is, I don't know why it's only one. Um, but that's like, that's more like a party trick. That's not like a secret town. Um, yeah, I guess secret town. Let's see. Oh, I can like stand on the tops of my toes curled over as well. I don't know. There's like weird. (laughs) That sounds so painful. I was briefly considering being a ballerina. Brief moment early on. I was doing like point and all that. And then I was like, ah. I remember acting. watching that movie no. Black Swan and I was just like, oh, fun movie though. Terrifying. Great movie. Yeah. But I feel like those, are, like my, those are the only things that are coming to mind. I'm trying to think that's if there's anything that's else interesting. Though. I can drive with my knee really well. I know it's bad. Same. I know. I'm yes. aware. Okay. Don't come for me. Uh, or you can because it's bad. But hey, I, that was something her mom taught us. I was about to say, her mom taught us that. Yeah, I watched my mom do it my whole childhood and I was like, I know how to multitask. She was like, she's like, you got long legs, use them. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Almost six foot. She, yeah, she's five. Can 11. she give me an inch? <laughs> can she give me an inch? <laughs> can she give all of us respectively he, he, an inch? He got the height. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, he's fine. Where are you? I'm, I'm six, are we... six one. Oh, you're, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's well, fine. How tall are you? Like 
five ten five and a half. Five eleven. Five eleven. No, 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 five, five ten, ten three. Ten. I'm, I'm five four and a half. I cling to that half though. So give me some good shoes. I'm six. I'm solid six with some good shoes. <laughs> all right, with good shoes, I'm six too. But then. no, those those few inches. Hey, five ten and a half is is all right. Have you noticed like heightism between you two? Ever? Or you just wish that you had that six? He well, wishes. I think he I mainly wishes. wish I had it because of sports. So uh, you'd be surprised. No, I was, wish I had it because of modeling. I just, I'm like, can I, can I, if I could be five, seven, even five, seven. I, if I was I'm five, you, nine, I would be unstoppable. Right. No, I would take over the world. It is, it is kind of <laughs> crazy how big of a factor height plays in yes. some things. And when you walk into a room, like you're treated differently. Yeah. I watch it happen. Mm -hmm. It's I wild. Th I think, uh, however, though, think of this though. If you had that extra couple inches that you wanted for sports, yeah, you wouldn't be doing this right now. That's you true. You might have stayed in sports a little bit longer. You might have went to a different school if they uh, saw six yeah. foot, not 5'11". If they saw 6'2", yeah, plus the position I played in football, yeah. I am white. They don't really look for for me. And, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. No, really? It's very, mm. very rare you okay. see a white DB. Yeah. <laughs> very rare. Bummer. I don't know if you watch football. Uh, no. Okay, I figured that. <laughs> I mean, I have seen some but I do you know you, you there just for you know whoever wins wins <laughs> yeah uh I did I did see the the Super Bowl <laughs> no I mean I guess I watched the Super Bowl but I saw my first in-person NFL game was the the, the semi-final the pre-final whatever is the game right before <laughs> yeah. between the 49ers and the NFC championship you talking about this Lions year? oh great game yes yeah. it was a great game yeah. and I was there in person for it and wow. so I, I like showed up Lucky. around halftime halftime Okay. Yeah. Half, yeah, time. half time. You're right. I, I get all the middle, the middle names uh -huh. of like the break in the middle mixed up. <laughs> anyway, showed up during halftime and it was, you know, kind of, eh. mm -hmm. and I was like, ah, oh, it'll turn around. And then it like really turned mm -hmm. around. It's pretty wild. That was so. a great game. And then, well, the Super Bowl was a great game too. It no, was. no, mm. no. Okay. I've nah, sorry. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've entered into some murky territory. <laughs> the, <laughs> Retract the my statement. First half was eh. Um, second half was great. Overtime was eh. Yeah, uh, I just I can't I, stand the officiating. Mm. It drives me crazy. Just like the calls that they made. Yeah. Okay. Um, Patrick Mahomes. I. <laughs> it's I, a touchy I, subject I, for Garrett. Yeah. I'm so I, sorry. I am just not a fan of Patrick Mahomes at all. So sorry. I'm sorry, bro. The the amount of calls like, that he gets thing. in his favor is ridiculous. It's just like ridiculous. Literally with everything. It is entertainment. I yeah. mean, yeah. I no, don't I, really know what the the underworking is, but I mean, with anything to do in in Hollywood, it is all. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's Coded, a, and there's like I mean? so many theories so. out there that the NFL is rigged. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not saying I believe that. However, the NFL is like, you know, uh, established as like an entertainment, just like the yeah. WWE would be, where yeah. it's very yeah. obvious they have a winner in mind. It's mm -hmm. not based mm -hmm. on talent. Mm -hmm. You can't have but Taylor Swift lose the Super Bowl. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. One hundred percent. No, one hundred percent. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You can't. The headlines, the viewers, the viewers that they brought into the Super Bowl. Because then people are going to buy so many jerseys yes. because of that yes. forever. There's literally now. Literally Swifty jerseys. I know. No, no. And Travis Kelsey's jersey sales skyrocketed over four hundred percent. Yep. I think she brought in what was it, three hundred million in revenue That's in like crazy. a year for the NFL. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Oh my god. So like, anyway, we're just getting. This isn't. I'm not tough. We're not talking about anything Avatar. We'll get into that. We're, we're, only, into that. we're only talking we're just, about. We're just having fun. Here. We're just we, we up wanna, having we fun. We want to know Michaela. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she I think you want to get to know Michaela too. Oh yeah. man. Okay. All right. But wait, wait. now we are getting, getting into some. Oh, was that it? Secret talent. Oh, we got to say ours. Oh yeah. Wow. We got so sidetracked. Maybe this is more of a party trick. I'm really good with movie years. So even movies that I, like, give me a movie okay. and I'll tell you what year it came You're out. You're in good or company least, in or at this least house a, this week, I feel like, with, yeah, that kinda, yeah. with that kind of talent. I don't, I don't, like, even movies that I haven't seen, I typically know what year it came out. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I guess I'm just good with numbers, which is oh, odd okay. because math was not my best subject. I think you're just good with memorization in general. Maybe, maybe. Um, I was good with history. <laughs> all right. I, okay. Secret talent. I mean, it's That's not. Like it's, not it's not much of a talent. I mean, I can draw and paint too. Don't get me okay. wrong. Yeah, okay. we're honestly we're both pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah. I think he spent more time doing it. Okay. I but I'll show I you mean, a picture if, afterwards of a painting I gave him as a gift. Yeah, it's it good. It was good. It's of the Flash. I'm ready. It is. Oh, the Flash is too bad. My I can't see it. But favorite superhero. Kidding. Um, but me, Hopefully I, you can, got that. I can juggle. Hey, like, can yeah. you? Yeah, you'll have you seen me juggle. I can't juggle for shit. I cannot. I can juggle, um, and also, uh, I can do some impressions, mm -hmm. like Patrick is one that I do a Patrick. lot. Patrick. You, yeah. You're not bad at impressions. Uh, Patrick, what, from, from Spongebob? From, from Spongebob, okay, okay, yes. Okay, gotcha. And, um, 
just like quoting things in general. I feel like this is also going to be a, the party trick. I, I feel like quoting things. It, okay. Yeah, I can, I can know. Like I'm telling you, like my memory recall, everybody tells me like my memory recall is like beyond normal. Okay. With beyond that. normal. Beyond normal. I, I don't know. All right. I um, did actually pull up the painting. This was for his birthday. There you go. Is that a turtle? Oh, no, it's his foot. Yeah, it's, foot. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a shot. He's running fast. That's pretty though. good. It's not bad, you know. Yeah, no, that's pretty know, good. Something light. I don't pay anymore though. I don't got time. I feel you on that because yeah. I've got a whole little box of supplies that just sit there. Uh huh. It's about yep, a very yep, time yep. consuming. Hobby. It is. It's, it it is. is. All right. All right. Getting into now we'll dive into Avatar. Okay, yeah. right. it's time. I will don my headband. Here we go. All right. We're, Yay! We're gonna I'm tough now. Blind bandit. <laughs> the blind bandit. That's me. Okay. The boulder. Hit me. All right. All right. I'll, I'll do the first one. Okay. okay. This is still in the icebreaker, and then we'll dive also more into, you know, the real the, stuff, the, the, yeah. the real stuff, what went behind Avatar and all that. Um, but we got to know, favorite episode of Avatar, the last bend, Avatar, the last airbender. Last bender air. Last yes. bender. And you can't say the finale, but I think I have heard this from you before. I don't know if you know it, and I was a big fan of your answer. The favorite library. Episode. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's the go. library. I mean, Tales of Bossing Say is also really good and yeah. one of my favorites, but I do love... The library. I also love the chase, the beach, the runaway, the blind bandit. I mean, the then runaway. I'm just getting, I'm, I'm yeah, biased, obviously. But uh, yeah, the library. So I didn't I have like the library in my top five only because I had to put the desert in there. Because I just loved yeah. what came I, after. Yeah. No, the desert's a brutal episode. It is. Though. It is. Yeah, this is. But we see, we see uh, them really go through it in different emotions from Aang and Katara really having to yep. keep the group together. Yeah. Emotions are tricky. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I could put like those two together, because they do go hand in hand. Yeah. But we also learn a lot of important shit in the library too. That's mm -hmm. true. Great yeah. episode. Now, yeah. I was going to say the desert. You kind of took it right out of my mouth, but. Really? Is that your favorite not, one? Not favorite. Not favorite. Oh, what's um, your favorite? Besides favorite? the comet. Southern's comet. Dude, I literally, like we made a list. I totally forgot what I put at number I one. Know. Well, <laughs> no, it's what the, um, what I um, because it's mine too. Um, the firebending masters. Yes. Uh, yes it yes, is yes. such a good yeah. episode. It's yes. so pretty. It's so beautiful. So pretty. Love that adventure with Zuko. And you, I mean, you kind of just told us, but what's your top five yeah. of that? Of, of, like if you were to rank the ones that you mentioned just now. And oh, you can include the um, finale if you want for this one. Yeah. So I guess the library, I'm including my bias because I can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably the library, the blind bandit. Mm, this is really tricky. Tales of Bossing say. Mm-hmm. Maybe Ember Island players. This is, and then this Ooh, is going to be really okay. random. Possibly uh, the last, the finale of of um, a book one, Siege oh, of the North okay, Part Two. Okay. It's a little random curveball, but I do. I love, I love music in that episode. Yeah, the music yeah. is beautiful. You see Aang like really get into like Avatar State, mm -hmm. really uh -huh. for real, for real. Yeah. Um, I love Twi and Law. Twi and my yes. Twi and Law are my favorite like symbol of the show. Yes. Like yes. if I were to get a pin or, or art made like. You know, if I were to get a tattoo, I mean, maybe I should do like a little badgermal thing, yeah. but like Twi and Law represent balance, they represent harmony. I'm just yeah. big fan. Which so. is why I was really. I, I love learning the lore about Twi and Law. Like mm -hmm. when they were, when he was facing Ko the face yeah, dealer, that really, was so cool. Which yeah. is why I was really pissed when they didn't say the names in the live action show. Yeah. I was waiting for Twi and Law. You're like, bring yeah. him out. Yeah, they yeah. kept saying push and like, pull. I was like, just, okay, just say Twi it. and Law. Just say it. Just um, say it. There were some good changes in the show for sure. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Uh, I had a, one more follow up. Yeah. Um, for the tales of bossing say, uh -huh. what is your favorite tale? Oh, I mean, do we need to do this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Top, I mean, would it be top and guitar? No, um, Iro is, is, <laughs> all right, all is right. yeah, I mean, come I on checking, guys, come I was on just guys, guys. <laughs> what are we doing? I was just Watch checking. Watch Iroh land and Iroh like, what are we, we're trying to just sob over here. Know, right? <laughs> Slept on one though, Momo. Momo. No, I know, I love Momo. Yeah. He's probably my, mm, I would say Iro, Zuko, yeah. Momo, Toff. Okay. I love Zuko's date. Zuko's date and is then, so sweet. And then I'm missing. So, and then the other ones are what? Sokka um, and Aang? Sokka. I Aang's by himself. No, Aang. Sokka's by himself because he's doing the uh, the poetry club. Yeah. Um, am I missing what am yeah, I missing? No. Uh, Toff and Katara. Mm -hmm. Aang, Sokka, Zuko and his date. Yeah. Iroh, yeah. Momo. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's, that's it. it. Yeah. 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 So, it. I think it'd probably be like Sokka Aang. Okay, okay. Sorry, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Um, and then just want to get into like your voice acting career in yeah, general. Sure. Um, so, you know, before the interview, obviously, 
you gotta you gotta look up you know a celebrity on Wikipedia. Oh you. boy. Okay. So according to Wikipedia, Yay. <laughs> but apparently it says you started voice acting. What's happening? Oh, I think that's the only other side. You know what? What is he doing? I don't know. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, all right. So you started voice acting at a very young age. Mm -hmm. I said apparently four. Six. Six. Okay. You lied, Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> but so did you know from like that young that, okay, this is what I wanted to do as a career is voice acting? So I, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. This was, I, I really wanted to work. As a kid, okay. uh, I, I'm an only child, a single mom, and I think we, we moved out here when I was four. I'm from Southern Indiana, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to participate yeah. in mm -hmm. like life and like real life. Um, and my mom was always working multiple jobs, mm -hmm. and like I just felt like I was like sitting around, like spinning my wheels. I was yeah. like, I want to yeah. work, so I like tried to go to Ralph's, which is like a local grocery store in, in LA, um, and asked if I could be a bag girl, like in bag groceries, and they're yeah. like, you're five yeah. <laughs> you have to be 14 and I was like this is illegal I don't have time for that like I, I want to mm -hmm. do something else. and so a kid in in my school that I was at at the time was in a commercial and they were like yeah I like was on set and blah 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 and it was sounded fun mm -hmm. and creative yeah. so I was like oh maybe I could do that and so then I was like hey mom can I be in a commercial and she's like relax let's like put you in this local theater production mm -hmm. See if you like it, whatever. Of course, I loved it. I was an yeah. Oliver, um, and I was obsessed. And so then I got headshots made. My very first headshots are in black and white, which is really fun because that was like the end of like middle age Hollywood. I feel like, mm -hmm. um, and then like this whole big thing of like, oh, color headshots and which one's more professional and which one's the right way. It was a whole moment. Anyway, really? it's really funny. Um, but I started in commercials and. Then I went through a little awkward growing phase. I did a Barbie commercial, funnily enough, very fitting in, in light cool. of this last year's events. That is but cool. that was my first first commercial. And then I went through an awkward growing phase. Like I lost a bunch of teeth, but cut my hair really short and mm -hmm. I just looked not like normal girl next door. And so yeah. my agency at the time, they were opening up a kid's voiceover department, which was brand new. Um, and I could read really well. Shout out mom. Thank you. And take direction <laughs> <laughs> and take direction. And as like a six, seven, eight year old, it's pretty much all you yeah. need. It's like, yeah. are you listening? Can you read this? Right. Awesome. Like, get in there. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. so I, I kicked off the the youth voiceover department at CESD and Finding Nemo was my very first, very first gig. That's awesome. Nice. Background voices of, you know, me and 10 other kids rolling That's around so in a cool. studio. Yeah. Is, is there an area of the industry currently that you would like to explore more? Yeah, on camera. On camera, uh, yeah. I've done some on camera, but I, not for real. I feel like I've really... Uh, I don't know, like just, I'm, I'm not finished with voiceover, but I'm very right. used to it. Uh, yeah. I'm, it's like, I had, it was basically a decade of a career. Um, and I haven't been like a regular in a TV show or in mm -hmm. like a, a Netflix movie or something, you know, right. I just, yeah. I would love to do yeah. that. So Ooh, speaking yeah. of that, could she get a cameo in the new Avatar series? I don't think so. Cause I'm very Irish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so probably not. <laughs> but Hey, I mean, if they find one that makes sense, by mm -hmm. all means. That'll bring up a question that I have later as well about yeah. that. Um, so yeah, you do start voice acting, and then you land yes. the role of a lifetime with Toph Beifong. That was that was a good five years five or years so into, later, though. Okay. Yeah, took some time. <laughs> took some time. Um, but like as a kid, I'm sure it was probably you know harder to like get a true grasp of the show. Like you probably didn't you know realize how big it was going to be either. Um, so like, how did you navigate through that time on your show as a kid? Uh, was there a lot of pressure on you? I mean, I guess any amount of pressure that's on anybody who books a lead character in yeah. a show, but I didn't feel particularly like, I don't know. I, I guess that's kind of the beauty. I don't know what being a, a kid actor today feels like because there's so much social media and like yeah. exposure and like press and like all yeah. this stuff being done. Um, I was just me. They cast me because they liked me. And yeah. then I just went in and read the script and Andrea Romano is an amazing director. And so she kind of guided me, but they liked me mm -hmm. and my essence as like tough. So very much you're getting just kind mm -hmm. of an authentic Michaela Reed. So I didn't overthink my character. I didn't try to put on a voice. People ask if I tried to like act her blindness at all. And I'm like, no, she also wasn't written that way. She's right. just no. sassy and yeah. makes fun of herself and like lives her life. She's a 12 year old girl, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like she, I didn't try to overdo anything. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody in the cast really did. Mm -hmm. Um, and you don't have to if it's a good show and if it's good yeah, writing, yeah, which yeah, is sure. then a testament to Mike and Brian, of course. So, yeah. Um, they found out you were Mang too. Yeah, and that's the, how they found. Yeah. That's how they found me. So oh, I voiced Mang, and they were like thinking of making Toph a girl at that point. Yeah. And they were like, wait a second, that might be our Toph. Uh -huh. And so they called me back in 
to to read for Toph. And I did not know it was the same show at the time because I didn't have like character art and like I just didn't uh-huh. know it was the same. Yeah. I just had the script. Um, and then I went back in and I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh this is the same. OK, cool. That's so, so cool. I did not yeah. know that. Oh, yeah. I found that I went back and rewatched that episode and I found that out. I was like, you know what? So technically oh, yeah, I, I am in all three seasons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she is. Yeah. A lot of times actors, you know, who have these iconic roles where like they, they get recognized constantly for that single role. Um, they can, they can be known to get sick of it. Um, have you ever felt that with Toph? Like, Hey, we need to move on from this. Like, recognize me for the other stuff I do or I feel like are some you, people or do, do you kinda, just embrace it? Yeah. I feel like some people, they'll like maybe neglect, like, uh, resent the character. Not, you know, just for a, a little bit, maybe cause it's just like yeah. too much at the time, but then come to appreciate it. I don't know. I, I've, I've, I've talked about this before. Sometimes I can get tired, uh, if like the same questions are asked or if like, like what we're asking. Yeah. Like it, no, 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 <laughs> no. Like in the same day, like if I'm at like a, an event or yeah. at like a convention or something and I just get hit with like the same question over and over again, mm-hmm. which doesn't happen too often, but yeah. sometimes I can feel a little nuts because yeah. I'm answering, I'm trying to stay like fresh yeah, so that the person yeah. feels like I'm answering y- y- authentically. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I am a broken record. Like I'm losing right. my mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sometimes I feel a little crazy. Um, probably because I am a little, but that's <laughs> the side. We Point, all go a little mad sometimes. Uh, you're telling me <laughs> anyway. So yeah, the, the, the tough thing though, of it being like the main thing that people know me for, I'm hoping to do other stuff that's like Absolutely. cool yeah. and impactful. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, like most actors set out to have something as successful right. as this. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, who am I to complain? Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't mind um, if people want to keep talking about it. Great. But yeah. I also am like, maybe it'll kind of ebb and flow. Like right now we're kind of in a height of things. They have the live action mm-hmm. and they're coming out with lots of new after studio stuff, lots of animated things. So mm-hmm. like, there's a lot of fervor, but like, who knows 10 years from now, like, who knows? Who knows? But Who knows? The, yeah, I think the thing is, is like, it seems silly to try to shut out something that gives you a platform. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And granted, it can be a little frustrating, but I think if you try to incorporate that into also who you are, people then grow to love you mm-hmm. as a performer and an entity yeah. and not yeah. just your character. As If you're embracing it as much as they are, mm-hmm. then people like recognize that and they're like, oh, that's cool. You're like, you, you, you're cool, you know? And yeah. then, and then you can kind of they're move like, forward let's together. Let's see more stuff. Yeah. 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 So mm-hmm. no, it's, it's cool. I could have never expected this. I mean, yeah, when we were recording, nobody knew, right. yeah. nobody yeah. was like no. expecting Jeez. this to happen. Uh-uh. Uh, I wasn't walking around being like, oh, I'm, I'm a lead in a Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. Like I did not know. I just did not even, I didn't have cable at the time. I didn't even know what I was doing. So yeah, was it was, it was a different time, but I'm just grateful. I mean, right. this has allowed me to like breathe for the first time in my life. Like I, as I mentioned with my mom and me growing up, like it was tight. We would, did not have money uh, yeah. at, at all. And so this is, this has been life changing for yeah, me. Absolutely. So know, I'm like, been- grateful <laughs> really busy with the the comic cons lately yeah, have crazy. you been to megacon yet no they haven't invited me all right megacon oh. yeah. so no no no, 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 no. Was, i didn't mean it that way but no, like no. They, I'm gonna we, demand. we don't have like a we don't have a choice it's not like i'm gonna go to this 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 right. like yeah. we can be interested they but, reach out to you yeah okay so so each show kind of has their own bookers and like curates yeah. the show and like i'm sure there's all sorts of behind the scenes yeah. of like certain on-camera people that they're supposed to have and certain animation people like who knows all the behind the scenes but yeah. like i can't just be like excuse me like <laughs> hello i want to go they have to be like but yes this this makes sense for our lineup this year but i mean yeah you can request away well, yeah we're from <laughs> orlando so we've been to megacon the last three years um, this past year was the first year that we went all four days. Oh, um, let's, uh, four day ones are long. Yeah. yeah. They're brutal. Yeah. But, I mean, a lot of the celebrities there are there for th- like two days. Okay. Um, I usually go for the four. Yeah. <laughs> we met, um, Keith David. Yeah. He was cool. really cool. Well, I waited four hours he in did. line for him. And then I jumped in at the last oh. minute to take a picture and oh, meet him. Oh boy. Yeah. I think he was at Kansas City. I was just at Planet Comic Con in Kansas City. I think yes. he mm-hmm. lined all weekend. Yeah. Constant. Oh my God. I was, I was huge. A, I was dedicated to get my copy of the thing signed. I don't think I, I don't know. I've been like thinking about this because I have like a decent, like it really depends on the show, mm-hmm. but I would say mine is like a healthy, like medium busy flow, like line. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's like doable. Like there's like lots of people, but I can still pause for lunch and I know that I'm going to get through everybody and like yeah. I can go to the bathroom and not feel like I'm going to have to send people home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm grateful for like the level that it's at. The level of fame. Because <laughs> I would is, feel yeah. so bad if somebody waited like five hours. Yeah. 
and then they and then just like couldn't. Yeah. I mean, not that that happens often because they usually close the line. But like, I I feel so guilty. No, I literally would just be walking around being like, oh, those three people. Like, (laughs) what's Mm -hmm. their mailing address? I'll like mail them (laughs) something. (laughs) I would just be like panicked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was Keith David, and then I also met Yuri Lowenthal, mm-hmm. the voice actor for Spider-Man. Sweetheart, yeah, yeah, very kind. No, he's a, he was awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I love I love I love yeah. my interaction with him. We met a uh, Rain Wilson as well. But that that, that was, was a, a photo picture op. where I feel it's like, like the literally walking. So quick. They're so yeah. fast. They're so fast. So I do recommend to do the the signatures signatures for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, you have been in the industry a long time, voice acting industry. Um. What are some of the biggest changes that you've seen? in the industry from the time that you started and now. Seems like an old woman. Um, it has changed astronomically, yeah. exponentially, any large quantifier you'd like to use. Um, social media, big first obvious one. I mean, it started, what was the very beginning, I think was Facebook. iPhones and Facebook mm-hmm. occurred in 2008, nine-ish, around there. Um, and then that funneled into, you know, kind of YouTube and Instagram and fine and then obviously we're here today with TikTok and all those fun lovely things but um, that has just changed for access for exposure for having a platform and an audience attached to you for learning things um, you, you don't even like you can just open TikTok and like follow a bunch of voice actors and they right. just yeah. like absorb what they do and yeah, like true. that just didn't exist um, it was it was much more cozy and when it came to finding representation I found my commercial agent by going to the office with my headshots in my hand and Mm -hmm. walking in and being like, hello, I'm looking for commercial representation. Uh Are there any agents who like would like to take a meeting with me and my mom? Mm -hmm. And then some would say yes and some would say no. And then I went with one who said yes and they liked me. Like, you just can't do that. You can't even like cold Mm -hmm. email anybody anymore. It's just like, (laughs) it's it's chaos. Um, So when people are like, how about I'm finding representation? I'm like, that is pushed in um because on camera stuff i'm trying to do with that right now so um, get on I'm camera in, i'm in scene study class and i've been talking to like entertainment lawyer friends of mine mm-hmm. who like have friends who used to do management like i'm just tr- trying to yeah it's it's now a whole little game um headshots were black and white now they're not <laughs> <laughs> biggest change and, and I think recording stuff too I used to have to go into my agency to record my voiceover auditions because at home technology unless you like spent 20 yeah. grand on yeah. your own big studio you can buy a really good mic just yeah. at Walmart or something yeah like I mean now. look at so, us like I yeah <laughs> who gave us a um, platform right <laughs> pretty um, crazy well I was gonna follow up from that like uh, 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 say the 2000s was really prime television you know sitting down okay. you had shows like mm-hmm. Our Last Airbender Breaking yeah. Bad um, lost like Breaking really bad is good. Prime Breaking television really where good. everyone was sitting down once Watch a week, it. zoned mm-hmm. like focused in, yeah. and being on cable. And I, I, you know, have you have you seen that change now from streaming? What I feel like street like is there as many? I've heard there's not as many um, pilots maybe for sitcoms anymore or. I yeah I don't know about the numbers exactly, but it's definitely like a weird transition mm-hmm. period. Um, yeah, pilot season isn't really a thing right. anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just numbers wise, like lots of projects are like being pitched, but not being like developed for real as like a trial. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, it, it comes down to just business and like money, like people yeah. want to know for sure that they're going to recoup their costs. And so that's why it's everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people are, are playing it very safe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's tricky because I do miss the time and it was like every Thursday at seven yeah. and you just like, you know, pencil it in. But I don't even know. I don't think we're going to have the capacity, like the attention span right. to get back to anything well, like that. Cause they're existing. trying to do that with streaming, but yeah. I feel like it's still, it's a lot harder. I feel like to advertise too, because yeah. you know, cable, there was all those commercials and it would really get you locked in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, streaming has definitely changed everything as we've seen last even, year even though not too, necessarily for the better no because <laughs> even if i watch like five or six episodes of something then i'll be like oh i kind of get the gist right. yeah and i'm like i don't necessarily watch the rest of anything mm-hmm. you know i'm like this is the show yeah. and instead of me being like okay like give it a week you know making me uh-huh. making yeah, me uh-huh. wait yeah <laughs> kind of builds anticipation yeah so i feel like we're getting back to cable now they're trying to throw i know they're like yeah. circling yeah, it back circle. I knew yeah. the was no, which we knew yeah at the beginning yeah. of all this they're like in one day uh-huh. yeah. come back uh-huh. and notice. They're, they're not gonna let people you know no. start saving money that, no. that easy are they <laughs> 
Um, Yikes. Throwing those ads. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, I did want. I did have a follow up about the um the changes in the industry. Um, yeah. You think they're for the better or the or worse with um the uh you know social media and everything like that? I don't think there is better or worse. Just, I think it's just like art. Yeah. I think it's just a choice. I think different people will thrive. Uh, different people will be confused. Um, mm-hmm. Some some shows, some content will be better, and some shows and content won't won't do as well. I, I just I think it's just different. I don't think it's better or worse because I'm I'm on social media now. Yeah, I'm grateful to have the platform. Yeah, but then part of me is also like, but dang, if we just deleted it all. Then I just have to walk down the road and just knock on that door and be like, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel, yeah, it's definitely, I feel like made competition a lot harder. That's cause, for you sure. Know, you if know, somebody's got yeah. 3 million followers right. and yeah. I don't, and we're both similarly talented. Right. I mean, yeah, it's really, I don't blame you. Yeah. It's really opened up the door for a lot of people to try to get in this industry. And, uh, you know, like. Is there going to be a point where it's just too saturated, even with TikTok and social media? Is it going to get too saturated at one point? And like, what's going to happen with TikTok anyway? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's still be a jobless. Might be a problem for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> move to YouTube, guy. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully stated. Yeah, I th- I agree with you. I don't think there is a better or worse. Um, no. well, like yeah. obviously, it gives us a platform which we never had before. Right. But yeah, it is. You know, it does stink. You know, like even going in for like a regular job application, like you right. can't knock on somebody's door and no, say, insane. "Hey, my yeah. name is Gary. I would like to work here." It's. Um, and I feel like it's, these days did, they don't accept that. Did you apply that. online? No, yeah. go apply online. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. come on. It's I'm like, I'm here. Right here. I'm right here. Exactly. Yeah. Talk to me for five seconds. Seriously. I know. Yeah. Because then, because I graduated from film school, which I heard I, you go to Yale. I did. Look how smart well, that is. Ah. Some smart shit right there. Nah, smart. Somebody well, thought so. What were your grades that's like? Smart, and they let me in. Nah, that, that's impressive. Uh, what, what, was that G, be... what was that GPA? Yo, I'm curious. <laughs> not, see, this is like the thing when people ask, because I tutored for the ACT and the SAT after yeah. undergrad for a while, because anybody who was like in theater film like yeah. did that as their job after because you were auditioning and whatever. Um, and when kids were applying to college, I'm like, it's not about being like the best of the best. Sometimes it is. There were plenty of valedictorians, plenty of perfect, like plenty of those, absolutely. Yeah. But they also need like humans like, yeah. <laughs> like I, I had I, it was a weighted GPA so it was I did some APs and so that school that I went to was technically out of like a 5.0 so I had a 4.2 okay but it's you know that's not that great I wasn't I think I was like 14th 15th in my class of like 70 people like uh, great. it is but like I wasn't number one I wasn't <laughs> yeah. getting a pluses in every single class. you know what I mean yeah um and I think like having just an interesting story I talked about for my for my common app essay which now I think is all different and I don't even know what the application process is like but I talked about baking my first apple pie when I was eight yeah. and I called my neighbor and my grandma and had him go to the grocery and got the recipe for my grandma and just like while my mom was at, you know working and I was like I just want to make this pie and so I was like resourceful and then like tied in uh-huh. my acting stuff and like talked about my mom a little and just used like that experience of baking a pie as like I don't know an example of me and mm-hmm. how I function in life um and it was a great, I still read it occasionally when I'm like moving over folders to like new computer or whatever. And I'm like, let me just read it again and just like see. And I'm like, no, it's a really good essay. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like self-expression and interesting story. Yeah. Yes, of course you have to be good at school. But if, if you like school and you want to go to school, That's then it, you'll be good at school. That you makes know, a if, difference. If, if, if you're not faking it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's, it's home hard. studies. I came in pre med because I oh, math, wow. math was my favorite subject. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a cardiovascular surgeon. We changed, <laughs> changed <laughs> hardcore. Um, and then I, I kind of short circuited it in college and I was like really lost and mm-hmm. I didn't know what was going on. And I took a screenwriting class and I was like, oh, this is fun. I like this. Yeah. I get to create the story. Oh, mm-hmm. I get to make the dialogue good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Because that doesn't then, always happen. No, <laughs> no, no, it does not. And so then I took another screenwriting class and another one, another one. They're like, oh, you have to be a major to keep taking these. And I was yeah. like, oh, I guess I will be a film major yeah. uh, then with a concentration in, in screenwriting. And I was already taking theater at the time because it was kind mm. of just a comfort. So I ended up, yeah. they don't do minors at Yale. So I had to double major. Oh, wow. um, looking back, <sighs> I think I would have liked to double major in film and econ okay. if, if I would redo a little. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I took an econ class and then the second one I got scared because the professor was like kind of boring. And so I was like, ah, no. But I, if I would have stuck it out, I think yeah. I would have liked it. Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. Because I did yeah. Uh, film school at UCF or Central, University of Central mm-hmm. Florida. Um, 
But going back to like, you know, social media, having platforms and stuff, because I graduated from film school in 2020 and... Well, that's a year. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a year to graduate so, honestly, from film school. It worked out great for the graduation. Yeah. Because he yeah. Could, he, it was just a quick walk on the stage, Boop. take a picture, nice. done. Nice. Yeah, didn't have to sit through Easy. a whole ceremony. But, but you know. the ceremony's fun. Is it's a it? party. I Is it though? I like events. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun. But yeah, everything was, you know, shut down. All the uh, production companies in the area were shut down. So I was like, what am I going to do? I don't yeah. know. So then just... Uh, our friends had created a podcast talking about superhero movies. I was like, you know what? I'm a film major. Let me just turn on a camera, start talking about movies, see if and people care what are. I say. Look how far we've gone. Look in a yard are. in LA with right? an Avatar DVD and a plant. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. I tried <laughs> to decorate I, a little bit. I'm blocking it? No, you're good. It's We can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. we can, we, yeah, it's there. Yeah. You're chilling. <laughs> but yeah, that was an interesting time to graduate. But yeah, I'm I was sure. like, you know what? If I'm going to keep going to school, let me just go do something I'm studying I'm something I'm interested in yeah I couldn't do finance like this kid uh yeah <laughs> I'm I'm highly like regretting my major I feel like I'm no, never I, I'm never gonna use it in my life that's not true I have found like you it's really hard especially because parents and like society have all these expectations and pressures yeah. and whatever but like if you just study things that are interesting you will use it like yeah, you true. will use it somewhere somehow it's gonna pop up you're gonna be like oh hey <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I feel like at some point in my life, if I ever wanted to like do like a regular job, I can just like flash my finance de degree and be like, hey, look at this. I did this. I'm s smart enough to get through this. That's basically what I'm going to use and my quantitative degree for. reasoning and thinking, though. That yeah. is, you know, unparalleled. That helps with business. Mm -hmm. That helps with organization. Yeah. That helps potentially with. I don't know how how handy you are, but like if you're building your own house or if you're doing stuff with like your kids, if you want kids, I don't know. It all it all it <laughs> all is good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all I'm saying is I did an internship where I you know did a desk job, which is like oh, literally yeah. ninety percent of finance jobs is going to be that desk job. <sighs> that's that's and valid. I did not like it, and it's why I Shocking. currently have sciatic pain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Ever since that, I was just like. Maybe not for me. I'll finish my degree, but... I considered consulting for a hot second because I didn't know what it was until yeah. like junior year. And then mm -hmm. all these people were doing these consulting internships. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is consulting? What's yeah. happening? And then I was like, if I were to be a corporate girly, which I'm not, <laughs> I think I would do well in consult because it's kind of just like creative, executive level yeah. common sense. Yeah. <laughs> and it's working with people. So yeah. if you like working with people, and that's definitely a good and way like, to go. Pro you know, projecting trajectories of things. Yeah. Yeah. Michael so Scott. if if I were in like a parallel universe, I would probably be like a McKinsey or something. You know? <laughs> All right. Uh, last question before we wrap last it up. Last question. Okay. <laughs> what advice would you give to anyone who wants to pursue the voice acting All right, industry? No, um, gosh, what advice would I give? It's funny because people ask for advice and yeah. I still feel like I'm absorbing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, I'm old, but I'm not, but I am, but I'm not. It's, You're not. It's <laughs> You're I'm 29. Not. I turned 30 in August. Um, so it's not that that's old, but it's, it's, it feels like I've lived many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there have been so many eras. Um, uh, advice for someone specifically in voice acting, to get started in voice acting? Yeah. 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 I would say figure out why. You're interested in being a voice actor, first of all. A lot of people are attracted to anything creative because it, like, seems fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, it's more about the act of doing it yeah. than, than the fun. Most of my auditions go into the void and I hear nothing back. And I spend, you know, two hours submitting five or six different characters and then it's gone. So you have to enjoy that. Okay. And not getting validation. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's the hardest part. And and if you do, that's great. And if you don't, that's great. But I'm just that's kind of the thing of like why? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you, you just just really clarify that uh, and and sit with the reality of it. I guess. Um, but when it comes to taking the next steps, like just start playing with stuff. I just copied voices. I sang a lot. Take a singing class. Take an acting class. Take a singing class. If you're starting from nothing, voice acting is acting. So they hire good actors. It's not just about the voices and then taking a singing class or just a breathwork class to really understand your 
everything, mm-hmm. just your throat and your diaphragm and just where placement is. And when you want something to be like super low and in like the back of your throat, or if you want it to be like super high here, just play with uh. all of the placement <laughs> um, and figure out what your strengths are. Mine is being super high pitched and clear toned. <laughs> and like, this is very easy for me. I can definitely be this character. So like, what is that for you? Yeah, that's um, good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smooth transition. That was great. It, it's not the same for everyone. And so what's comfortable and easy for you isn't for someone else. I promise you that. So like fine tune it and make it your strength. Um, cause it's not easy for everybody else. So you maybe have a lot of languages, maybe you're good at impressions. Maybe you have like really good accent, whatever, just like play mm-hmm. with what your wheelhouse is. Cause the more, you know, your own body, your own mm-hmm. technique, your own strengths, walking into a room, mm-hmm. the more people can see you and be like, Oh, they've got, they've got that. Uh-huh. We want that. Um, <laughs> And then, I mean, I'd say take workshops lightly. They can be very expensive. There are lots of them. So save your money. Don't go crazy. Uh, you don't need to spend $5 billion on a microphone and a whole home setup. You can get a great mic for like 200 bucks um, if you do want an in-home studio. And then I think I think it's like voices.com. And then like backstage, there's yeah. some like non-union yeah. work that you can submit for. Uh, and I also say, think out of the box. There's so many people. If there are 5,000 people in a room trying to do the same thing, how are you going to be different? Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, that's hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's the point. So yeah. buck up, it sugar queen. Easy. <laughs> it's an easy industry. <laughs> no, that's it's for not. damn sure. Listen here, sugar queen. <laughs> Great names. I'm so happy they gave me so many good names, <laughs> names to throw are at amazing. people. <laughs> I love it. Sugar queen? <laughs> Snoozles, Sugar Queen, Twinkle Toes, Melon Lord, Runaway, Blind Bandit. See, she's got lots of names. It yeah. checks out. It checks yeah. out that I had a stage name. Oh. It all tracks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the one thing I just thought of too was, uh, well, the stars sure do look beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. You're too bad you, you can't, can't see, see them tall off. I and got I just like, <laughs> Just earth bend right into her. Okay. Yeah. When, you were ta- when you were talking about going crazy at cons, people asking you the same yeah. questions all day, I feel like Melon Lord is one of them. Am I right? But I'm used to that one. Yeah. Like I'm prepared for that one. Melon you Lord. Know, to the, I, I am not tall. Melon. I am Melon Lord. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I say that multiple times at all of these. All right. at all these Good mentions. thing we got that on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one thing I wish I did try in film school too was... uh. Hmm theater i'm just too chicken shit for mm. it yeah what do you mean oh, oh with the at shy the, thing that's yeah, the shy thing a little bit i forget yeah. you said this okay okay like, okay yeah. given his you know what he's done today i feel like he pro- you would have given it a Maybe. try it's scary but, yeah hell yeah you have to kind of turn off the part of your brain that's like being perceived Again, and, and just like what people think it's hard yeah, yeah it is hard it's hard especially because i one of my biggest things that i just don't want to be is like the person who's not actually like talented enough mm, or right. like doing it because everybody's going to have some learning curves but like yes. the people who are just can't even sing at all and yeah, then they're yeah. just belting and you're like that i would i would hate it, that for me yeah no <laughs> there, don't there be needs to be criticism you, even if you give it a hundred percent there are those people that give it a hundred percent and it just you're just yeah. not made for it. Yeah. Either that or yeah. either that or you don't, just don't have the right training. I don't know. Or, yeah, exactly. you know, like, I don't know. You're, you're, I think, you're, you're giving 100% into something that it, you're just doing the wrong way. I think most things can be learned if you have a passion for it. I don't Absolutely. think. I think some people no. you have the, the natural charm or yes. whatever, yes. of course. But like yes. if you love something, mm-hmm. you 100% can yeah. learn your way into it. I think I th- it's so important to be, sorry, I think it's you're so important to be coachable. Yes, you know, that yeah. is that is a huge thing to just absorbing in all, all that information aspects yeah. for every human. Uh-huh. I, <laughs> no, but I was gonna say I think if you have a single like modicum of talent, like yeah. if you have a, a single thing of talent, take it. Uh, yeah, in take that street. and work on that. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. And I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. You all got right. this, guys. <laughs> Go chase your dreams. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're mm-hmm. all about positivity out here. Yeah, it's been a positive episode. Yeah. Uh. Last thing, I'm gonna throw this in there. Did you know she was uh, Young Franny and Meet the Robinsons? Right? No. Yeah. I oh, yeah. Underrated. I, I, I want to yeah, say underrated the, yeah. Disney movie. My favorite project that I've worked on. Really? really? Yeah. Oh underrated <laughs> Disney movie. Yeah. It's so fun. I love her. I think she's actually me. Like of the characters yeah. I voiced, yeah. I feel like she and I are very like she was all sciency, but uh-huh. also loved music. Uh-huh. Very yeah. like sassy and uh-huh. opinionated. Loved frogs. I love frogs and turtles too. Like <laughs> I just I was all about Franny. I That's think awesome. she's phenomenal. You know, I I feel like nobody talks about. It. I just rewatched that movie so like good. not too long ago it's actually. Good. And I was like, dude, this deserves so much more attention. You think it's I'm emotional. crazy too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's so good. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks, uh, guys. Michaela, thank you so, so 
much. You of have no idea course. how much this means to us. This is so awesome. You're so sweet. Never. Thank you for for wearing your yeah, your avatar gear. You guys yeah. look Are awesome. Are you kidding me? It's yeah. literally had to like represent our favorite show, man. This oh, well, we're awesome. fangirling over here. I mean, yeah, this is crazy. Do look. you guys have a favorite top line other than the Melon Lord one? Um, you know what? Ooh, it's okay if no. Damn, I'm, she put us on the spot. Right? Now. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> as far. <laughs> I, you know, I will say one episode I love is like when she's giving Aang advice on like, ha- on, on like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, taking yeah. it head on and just like basically just man <laughs> up. I, I don't know. I love, I loved her giving him a hard time in that the, episode. I do, I do use that line in, in some cameo videos sometimes whenever people need uh-huh. inspiration for things. Yeah. Um, and so you can't think like an airbender. There's no different angle, no clever solution, no tricky trick that's going to move that rock. You've got to face it head on. And this by head amazing. on, I mean like yeah. this. Boosh. <laughs> Edit in rocks flying across the screen. <laughs> oh, I will. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I really like the uh, the conversation that her and Iroh have. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. I've yeah. done that with the the voice of Iroh part two, mm-hmm. um, 2.0. Mm-hmm. In in real life, we've done that scene together, yeah. even though technically that was Mako yes. um, yeah. at that point. So I, lo- I, I love that, that scene. I think that. that that was such a pivotal like important connection of like the opposite sides Mm -hmm. without them necessarily realizing Mm -hmm. um yeah that was a beautiful scene i'm really happy that that scene exists i I hear a lot of people like that comment on that conversation and then when he comes to bossing say and she's like i know that guy he's a friend (laughs) he's a friend i love i love that part Mm -hmm. and i thought about that interestingly (laughs) enough because when he when they meet up like Mm -hmm. by themselves she does see iroh or see Iroh again. I mean, <laughs> um, when they're when they're fighting against Azula together, when they all team up, remember that? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, I always thought that was like interesting. That might have been before, but, though. No, 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 no. It no? was after oh, okay. because that was when Zuko was by himself, and oh, I and then right, and then right, they were fighting right. Azuko. Actually, that might have been they the were same fighting episode. Azula finally, you're right. Yeah, that might have been the same episode. See, this is where I get a little blurry. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, but I, I mean, I guess they were busy in that scene. Like, she's not going to say like, oh, hey, I know this guy. He's a friend. No, like, they're all no, fighting no. Azula. But no, yes, nobody, that's, yeah. that moment I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're a little, they're a little occupied. It's okay. Yeah. All right. But, Thanks, yeah, guys. But that was it. Th- Thank you so much again, Michaela. Yeah, this has been amazing. You are awesome. By far our favorite episode. You're yep. very sweet. You're First very celebrity sweet. we've had on. Unless you count Andrew. Does Andrew count? I think so. <sighs> He's getting pretty popular. I think so. Well, fellow. I'm oh, sorry. I'll say his. I was escape pod. I, I, there have been times where I'm like noticed like me occasionally yeah. In, yeah. in real life. Cause also I'm a voice actor. So you don't really see my face, yeah. but like every child on the planet yeah. just knows. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, I would say that's your first, I'm sec- first second. Okay. The best. You're by far Second's the first. The best. We're, we're, <laughs> yeah. Fuck Andrew. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, wait. All right. First I, just, and best. I just thought a last quick question. Um, do you like the fact that you are a voice actor so you don't get like overwhelmed by getting your face recognized or is it like, I don't know. For for now, I think I also don't mind being recognized. Yeah. yeah. Not that I'm like, oh, I crave it and I yeah, want to yeah. not be able to go to Trader Joe's. Like, no, that, <laughs> yeah. I love going to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Please, I would love to keep going. <laughs> but I think it also comes with the territory if you have a successful entertainment career. Yeah. It's not a bad problem to have. That means that you did it. Yeah. yeah so sure. like I think Taylor Swift talks about this. Taylor Swift is a great model for many things, but uh, she has always said from the beginning, like, I want this. I yeah. want the fans. I want the success, whatever. And so every single time she's talked about her fans, she's like, I'm here because of you. I'm here for you. I'm always appreciative mm-hmm. of you. Like she will always be happy mm-hmm. trying to talk to you, trying to sign mm-hmm. something for you. Like, yeah. And I kind of feel the same way. I'm like, you guys are why I'm here. I'm here because of you guys. Yeah. This. Why wouldn't I be happy to be noticed? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We're still yeah. getting like used to. So, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it, when we do, yeah. it's like it's, we, it's, it's like exciting. a little bit. It's, yeah. it's, it's cool, and we always encourage people to come up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right. Sorry, I just wanted to get that last one. Out. <laughs> no, absolutely. <All> right. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for having thank me. You. Yes, thank, thank you so much you for again. being thank here thank you again. <laughs> for this episode, uh, everyone. Thank you for. Listening to this episode, if you made it this far, make sure to give a rating and review on Spotify, Apple, wherever you are listening. Make sure to go uh, follow our social media account. Make sure to go follow Michaela on TikTok, Instagram. I know she's busy on there. And YouTube. And YouTube. And YouTube for us as well, because we don't know how long. We don't know if anything else is going to be here. Uh (laughs) So Uh please give us a follow on there. We'll we'll start paying more attention to it. I promise you. (laughs) But uh, all right, that's going to do it for us here at Blake's Takes. As always, with my co-host, Garrett. We'll see you next time. All right. See you guys. Bye.